We're back for Phoenix Wright. Let's continue. Dragon's still sick. Hooray. Let's go. Uh, amnesia! I can't believe my lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. I'm doing a great job. Fuck off. I, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry. I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard... La 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 la. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. I feel the worst. Be prepared! Come on, lower your head a little. A Mikey kick should be all you need. Uh, no, no, no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on! I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can do with mine later. For now, do you think you could fill me in on a few things? Of course! I'd be honored to! Brilliant. Ah, uh, ah. Well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. No, no, that's okay. Really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix Wright. What a weird name. <laughs> this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back and maybe it'll help. This is a business card. I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. Your tongue is really red, lady. I am concerned. I am concerned. This is you can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? No. Why? Where does this go? It's a business card. You probably have several. Okay. There are some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. He handwrites it on the back. Okay. I guess for now we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, what can I tell you? Um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than the incident with that cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah, your eyes are when we talked about it at the detention centre, sir. Hurry up and then and tell me, it's very, very important. Okay, Roger! No, Phoenix. <laughs> I can't have that was going to happen. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6pm. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. Well, I think I know who, who killed Dustin. Mm. I'm sorry, but I think you. Yep. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. She has a fucking blue badger hoodie. For why? We agreed to meet at 6pm. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up. But they never did. Hmm. So... Where is this one you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is that the phone in my pocket? Y you mean this? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? 
Yes. I don't really know if my eyes lit up. Ah! You were here all along! Maya? I thought, Maya? You, left, I thought you left on a train last time. Okay, um... You're so mean! I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up! And when I went to check on the courtroom, everyone had already left! Ah, now who the heck is this? Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too. Hey, good morning, Maggie! And a good morning to you, Maya! So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than the pistol? Oh? And what if I said everything will be fine? That's right, it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra decisive super important evidence! Here you are, Nick. The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. What the heck is this? A list? It has to be about 20. There was the names of phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good? As in... There's a group of con artists in the... Blah, 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 blah. There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. Hmm. These are their phone numbers. I think these guys are members of that group. Ha <laughs> ha! Got me! Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me! Huh? And where did you get this from in the first place? WHAT?! Don't you remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday! Oh. Is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. Hmm, so that's where they're from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. I will whack you on the head and we'll see how forgetful you get then. Uh, my, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright! <coughs> Recess is now over! Fact. Priest, but... Priest! Priest! <laughs> Priest, bring the defender of... Malik! <laughs> what brings us here today? Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops. Guess you get, have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, Nick. You are rude. W wish us luck. Good luck. Bye. Enjoy the death penalty. I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. Although, who the fuck is that girl? And why is she fucking so young? And why did she call me an old fucking prune? Because you're not a, in the teens. Well, all that's left is to put this together. All together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Yeah. I'm about to see pain one more time as well. He's here still. I know. I hate him. Anyway, I think since we probably don't have gumshoe again, you're judgy now. You're, edgy, yeah, like, you're edgy now. Alright, alright, alright. Been swimming much lately. <laughs> uh, no. No, no, no. Can't swim. Can't afford swimming. Oh, the stretch rules. Ooh. That's good. Court will now reconvene. 
please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor! But before I do, if I may say a few words! You may not. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness! What is it, Mr. Payne? He has a tendency to, to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I ask that the court might be a little lenient on. There's no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Y yes, Your Honor! Prosecution calls its next witness. A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. That's what I think of it. Yeah, the murder. Please state your name for the court, witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, alright, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk? But I will not stand for that. Now you've tinted the court's eyes and coloured me wrongly. So you in that coloured! <coughs> <laughs> this case is all about spelling! Sure, I suppose calling you a little bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a I'm just an amazing person. I'm trying to go into university, you see, and that's why I was on a walk. Y yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I will be more careful from now on. W what is he? A human chatterbox? Uh, I have to question him. That blonde strip does not look good. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rates only need the plot. That blonde strip does not look good. No. His outfit is alright, I suppose. The Bond Street just doesn't fit. Is it got his chin under the scarf, or is it just cut it's off so and flat? Yeah, it goes to flat. It would work better if it was a flat butt chin. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like he's done makeup on his eyes as well, with lashes at the bottom. It's, ooh. Well, you've got to remember, he's a fancy man who, uh... By the way, that scarf does not fit that outfit. It doesn't fit! There we go. So, he's a guy who is uh, currently not doing anything in life because he's thinking of going to university, but must only consider the first-rate ones. Mm. He's a guy that's acting like he's all it, yeah, exactly. trying too hard. Exactly. He's a twat. Never have, but so. Glasses, which are quick. Which are wearing glasses. <coughs> that's enough, your name, witness. Is it as how you want to play this? It's court! Just say your effing name! This is as bad as Edward for trying. Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. I just want your name! You old people have your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. I, I'm sorry. It won't happen again, but for the blood of your time, can I have your flubbing name? It's like Edward going, Name! Occupation! Da -da -da -da. Occupation. Name! <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, I hope to see more of that. Oh, man. I forgive you. Alright, I suppose I can tell you my name. Fucking finally. I'm Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso. With a PhD in drifting, as it were. <sighs> yep, no wonder he's all oh, first rate only. My name is Richard Wellington. I'm going to change the name now. <laughs> Cranberries. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he is a dick! 
He's a rich dick. Mr. Wellington. Excuse me. Did you just spit all over yourself in anger? Yes, I did. <laughs> Getting ready. He's <laughs> 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 dumb fucking face. I want to punch him. I just want to slap him because what the fuck is going on with his eyebrows? You, uh, maybe, yeah, 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 look. Uh, maybe he has, like, his eyes, like, half kind of closed, like, like, is this. Yeah, but still, what the fuck's going on with his eyebrows? I don't know. It's like permanently... Oh, there we go. I was at the uh, after... <laughs> I was at the afternoon of park. <laughs> I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I must say. Yes. I know he's a rich dick, but. What? Try not to fuck up. <laughs> I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above, right in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness, a flying man! Amazing! I didn't realize it flew. At any rate, without a thought, I looked up and met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the, of the pretty defendant there. Hello. First rate of the The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. The banana. Hmm, that was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive? Nick, did you hear what he just said? Yeah. That's all you have to say? How can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in my client? You mean Maggie? Yes. And if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. You may not question the witness, Mr. Wright. Oh, thank you. I'll find out the truth. No matter how well you craft your lies. Oh, good luck. 
feel it's wrong. Oh, what is that? Well, I don't want to talk to you about that, so you can fuck off. How did you know what time it was? I see you're not wearing a watch, so... <sighs> Is that the best you can do? Do you think you can discredit me like that? You could have been that way to leave. Uh, I wanna know. You're just a third-rate biased fool. I guess I can't expect real smarts from you. How did you know what time it was? Hey. I can't believe I have to deal with a worm like you. Back at you, buddy. You're just a shallow man who can only slam on desks and point at people for fun. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, at least Phoenix has a fucking degree, man. I guess I don't have a choice. I'll try to explain this so that even a third-rate simpleton like you can understand. There was this little thing they call a clonk at the park. Did you get that? Do you know what a clonk is? It's a thing that tells you the time. How about I introduce you to a very, very particular clock? Right on your swede! Or how about this? I want to introduce you to a particular clock. It's called the thinker. That's what I was saying. Evidently me and Dragon are contemplating murdering this guy. Yes, I am. As you can see, Mr. Wright, it's even in this picture of the crime scene! This whole concept of breaking time apart. And yet again, another flood of meaningless words. Talk about a first class waste of time. Yeah, I'm, gonna, ah, I'm, ah. I'm not going to be reading out his rants if they go by too quickly because, like, when he. Oh my, I can't, like, speak them as fast as I can read them. Ah. Case. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> you really owe him to do this to yourself. And how did you know he was a police officer? His uniform, Dingus. I don't. I don't. I'm not too happy about this. You obviously don't know. You obviously have no idea how powerful my deductive reasoning skills are. With one glance, I could tell just what kind of occupation he held. And surely do it yourself here, so. And I suppose he was also because he was wearing an officer's uniform. Should we not stay with the conference? Wow, oh, that's pretty impressive. Hey, Nick, do you think he's figured out what I do? I haven't figured that out yet. I need to press him on the bananas. The banana? Well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas. Now, what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? <laughs> and why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. That's really strange. I think he never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick! He's gotta be lying about the bananas! Hmm, it could be, but... Maybe he's just going to lie about that many bananas for the crime scene. And what if it's not a lie? Well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing and it was something else. 
the baseball glove. She was just someone else for a Which means if he could somehow show he's lying, yeah, it's like what we need to do. Right, so it's not my budget. Just like a little bit. Is everything okay? No. So pretty much she saw the glove, aka the bananas. Mr. Wellington, I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, oh, so you know about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? Hmm. I don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? What, 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 what? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? Yeah, that's... That's not... It's a... No! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness has bad eyesight. <laughs> this, we've learned one thing, this witness loves bananas! <laughs> has bad eyesight. Yeah. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? <laughs> what, what, you, why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Your Honor, it is a very simple. No, no, no! It is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. You, you, you're one of those people. Yes, I know what you know what I mean. You like the people that love it, 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 love it. And that is why I asked you about how bad your eyesight is. They're both 2200! This crucial going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Um, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. My glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? Oh, yeah. Did you just try to Yes. How about it, witness? You are an unrelenting evil man. You killed Joan of Arc! I hate you! She was burned! It boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at that time! Therefore, the identity of the woman at the crime scene and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness! in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime! <sighs> oh! The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been about 6.45 when I made the call. That's very late after when the guy died, because didn't he die like in 
showed up within 10 minutes. A guy died! I think it would be bad if they didn't show up quickly. Hello? Someone's just been murdered. Oh yeah, give us an hour to come down, old chum. That'll be alright, right? person who was stand who was on the upper path so the person who was on the upper path saw you then and then ran away yes that is correct which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that that girl is the murderer not me bollocks bollocks and bollocks you may question the witness now, Mr. Rabbit. What is there to question? I'm amazing. I <laughs> small brain and spiky hair. <laughs> How do you know what time it was? We discussed this before. That detective told me. You know which one I mean. The one with the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school. Hey, pal! I graduated from a pretty good, I mean, top-ranked college! It doesn't matter. I don't believe I was mistaken on what time I called. <laughs> And if I am wrong, then that detective obviously doesn't know how to tell time. What? Why are you? You're just some lousy kid, who? I think the court can see your point. Anyway, how did the police respond? Well, let's uh, go back and present the autopsy report. See if, well, with some pink conker. Right, you stupid. Allow me to hand you this. Did an autopsy report. I forgot to see that the last time we were recording. Because I said I wanted to see that again. Yeah, yep. After this one. Okay, so present it here? Yeah, I'd say so. Objection! See you, Lancy. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45. There's a clearly, there is clearly a 15 minute gap here. Do you deny it? <laughs> I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during that 15 minute gap. The witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder! It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed! 15 minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Mr. Wellington! Y yes Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? I was wanking off into a pool of children's tears. Answer the question! Spit it out! I was searching for a phone booth! A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? Yeah! You do. You and your 
questions as if you're trying to open all the layers of a Mitrios Mitrios doll. I don't know how to say that properly. <laughs> I'm posh. We're moving on. Hey, 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 you must think you're something special. Witness! I have my cell phone. There, are you happy? You lost it. Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone. Mr. Rice happens to have both of those in his pockets. It's nasty pockets. Give it to us. Give it to us now. Ah. You must be a very scuffed brain when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first rate people are never allowed to lose things? Haven't you ever heard that all geniuses are me, 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 me? I'm a Eat it off! Me. Oh man, oh man. Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone. Nick, that cell phone. Could it be? Yes. I mean, this phone Ricky found, there's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Question further! Mr. Wellington, where is your cell phone right now? Hmm. <laughs> when are you getting all excited, Matt? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I have it, you know. I found my phone, I'll have you know. See, here it is. Oh, I see. Hmm. It looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that just maybe this was his. They look like the same. Hmm. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the turn of the road, the witness did not have a cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by a search for a phone booth. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it that way and leave it like that, that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? There is something bothering me, yes. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You do have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, of, of course. Seven should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have this proof then. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. This is one. Yeah, there's literally a public phone booth right by the bed. It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. At the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with that? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, something is wrong with you. No! It's, it's a phone booth. Mm -hmm. That is correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone? It was right in front of you. <laughs> Order! Order! What is reported the crime? A little late proof of the defense! The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That's reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, that's very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? And I bet this really is, the phone really is his there. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there's no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Cell phone. Maybe he was looking for something else? Yes, he... Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation? 
as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Yeah, I have an idea. He wrote the name. There's only one pa possible explanation. Alright, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalised. Be carefully before you present this to right. Yes, Your Honour. Ah, probably shouldn't have said there was only one possibility. Please present to the court for one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police straight away? Cell phone because hmm. he knew Maggie had it. Exactly. Not Dustin. <laughs> no, it would have taken 50 minutes just to write the name though. No. Glasses then. We'd have to move the body around to try and find them. <laughs> Mr. Wellington! What? Don't do that. You always give me a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Ah, oh, where, where did you find? I believe the cause or heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Under the, the, the victim's body? Order! Order! Now, wait a second! Hold on! I, I didn't confess, confess or confirm a, a, any, anything! Your Honour, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and he searched frantically for them. What he didn't realise was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. But Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicating the witness as the real murderer? Of course, that is precisely what I'm doing. I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out the cell phone was the key to the case after all. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah. This is so exciting watching you work again. I don't know how my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order! Order! Your Honor! The defense! The defense is making a mockery of this court! So why are you sweating, babe? Well, that would be so incorrect to stand when he accuses the witness of being the murderer! Y yeah, th that's right. <laughs> I I'm no criminal. This third rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear our explanation as to why you're not the murderer. Why? Well, that's, that's easy. Um, oh. For example, there's um, 
the name the victim broke. What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, even an idiot. But you can read that, right? But we already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left handed. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But, 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 <coughs> wouldn't that mean the real criminal was somehow, was some of the defendant knew? Otherwise, how would that person know her name was Maggie? Uh, Maggie! Point. The witness didn't even know of this bird before this trial. Ah, I forgot. Hmm, was there any way this creep would have known Maggie before? Well, I guess there was a way. The witness had to use proof that the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Present the phone! Yeah. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So hot to if I did. When you realised you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? A bird, sorry. Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, how did you... Overruled! Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is some relation between the witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. You made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. My client's name is Aggie. As Maggie with an E Y, but the name on the, the name that was written on the ground was Maggie with an I E. This mistake that could only occur if all you knew was how her name sounded. Order! Order! But... But your honor! The witness has no motive! And your point is? It's very simple, your honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm. Mr. Wright? Your Honor, can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Dick? If I said I can't have an explanation, the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Now then, please present to this court the proof the witness had a motive. The list of names. Take that! Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. We have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You, you looked at all those numbers? Of course! This list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to the people who are members of a certain con artist's group. What? C -c con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This, this is an outrage, an invasion of privacy. Looking at the phone numbers on a person's phone is worse crime than murder. I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want you to tell us what this list is about. 
you think you, any of you know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, this is, this is unjustified battering of the witness! Objection overruled. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? <coughs> Why would the witness have a, the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is a member of that group. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. No! All of your friend's phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No, this is too much. Hmm, that does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I am uh, my... I got you now! I am that, I am that police officer. Your Honor! What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor! This, this is, this is unjustified badgering of the witness! You said that exact same thing only a few seconds ago. Think about this. Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Maybe we should be thinking outside of the box. Yeah. Think like that. Let's see. Maybe that sign will saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thought was right. He saw this bird with a police officer. Yep. Hmm. Well. I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well then, Mr. Wright, what was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Um, our profiles. Ah, yes, profiles. Victim. What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on a date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh! The girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman. He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I knew anything suspicious, he might try to check my phone. In his mind, it was possible they had already run a check on the phone. And he went into a panic. Is that what you're saying? I hope. Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. <laughs> Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hmm, it seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... <laughs> Squishy face. Yeah. What? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, evidence. Oh, that's really creepy. Out. Oh, you mean waving around and talking? Waving around and talking about this uh, su suspicious cell phone. 
Suspicious phone group and this, suspicious con group, that, they're all on that phone. But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof, your evidence? You want proof that this is phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier. The phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't have... You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. But you can't be sh but you can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm. You, you do seem to have a problem with our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Not knowing that, it's meaningless as ever. Your Honor! This is bad. I don't know if there's a problem like this. Hmm. This is so fun. There has to be something I've overlooked. It's got to be. Do we... Imprint? Hmm. Those stored numbers wouldn't make the smite of difference. Yeah, phone. Fingerprints. I've got it! We should check for fingerprints! Fingerprints? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on his phone. Nick, so you remember? When you called that from Maggie, you wiped it off. I- what? You said there was sand all over it, so... I wiped it. I wiped it! Very thoroughly, too. <laughs> it's oh, so much fun watching third rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Ah, uh, he's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see? Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. Joke, he's raised all the numbers so he could use evidence. Mr. Wellington? What's this? From turning your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find yourself on? <laughs> oh, you're too much. And of course you have no idea what I'm talking <coughs> about. And you have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I, oh my god. Now I remember. That's when... What's wrong, Mr. Tony? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we worked so far hard to get this far, but... If you don't do something quick, he's going to get off scot-free! I know. I know this phone has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? That's right! I cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is. Your, your indictment has no basis, and therefore no power. Looks like you came up a penny short. Where, where did I go wrong? Don't blame yourself, you're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? There's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Did I say that right? Who are you? What are you? That's something. That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who I am? The court hereby concludes the cross examination. <laughs> Hehehehe. 
If that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at an ultra fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. Thank you for your assistance! You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetit! Am I supposed to do raise an objection? Yes. Do it. Please wait, Your Honor. All right, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. <coughs> prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. Your, your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended! Besides, the defense is just going to badger the witness with more inane questions! You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Very well. This is your last chance, Mr. Wright. You may present one piece of evidence to the court. One shot at this. You can't prove everything. It's over for your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Yep. Yes, you are. I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross examination period has ended. Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. All comes down to this. Go time. Please present the one piece of evidence that will explain everything. Oh, if there's any one piece of evidence you've not used. Here, Judge, have my business card. All we to prove is, do we have our own phone or do we have his? Why, thank you. How nice. <coughs> Here, please have one of mine. <laughs> it's strong and clear, but I still can't read it. Wait, what am I doing? This is not the type of time to be exchanging business cards. Your Honor, there is something very important about that card, and that is... card is important because of what is on the back. Hmm? Huh? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but... But that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now, but court is still in session. Oh god, of course my called Nick, but Nick didn't answer. Because Wellington's got his phone and erased all the numbers in it. It's okay, you'll see. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We're going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Of all the idiotic, stupid things to. Your next didn't change his ringtone. <laughs> ah! What, what, why is my phone? And what is this stupid sounding ringtone? Mr. Wellington. Yeah. Hmm, how strange. I could almost swear that you're holding my phone. Y you're... Ah! No, 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 no! It can't! By the way, before I forget, Thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. I don't think I need to explain any further except to say when you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one.
Now I'm to put those numbers back in it. So that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on pri his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist's group, he has, be he has become paranoid and lost all ability to make rational judgments. Then, then Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding... It's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? He's in pain! Anyway, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Now then, the score finds the defendant, Maggie Bird, oh. not guilty. That is all. This court is adjourned. Ah! I knew the real you would shine through eventually. I'm so moved by what you've done for me, sir. I salute you. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. You do really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of you. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? It can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, I've got a bath on the ninth floor of my apartment building. Oh, you're alive. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, got sick from all sorts of foods. I've failed almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I've never won or even tied in a game of tic tac toe. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh, pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. And then, at the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Lady Luckless? What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? <coughs> when I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand then. Before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. Oh. I'm sure that Dustin has gone because of me. That's not true! I thought I didn't even have any special sort of meaning. It was just a person to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault! Dustin's death! Your head being all messed up! Oh, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm going to find a new life for myself, starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it! I promise! It's only me. I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you. Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. Uh, what a horrible day. I've got my memory back, but these are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Mm, I'm afraid to ask you guys. So, this might sound bad, but uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back. At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Gumshoe. Someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases. 
You can still slip in and be a good ally during others. The judge. He's a lovable kind of man and is easily swayed by other people's opinions. You don't say. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. This person. We haven't got a clue. He seems to know me, but maybe he's mistaken me for someone else. I went up against you your first trial! And this girl, Maya? You, you finally remember? This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right, I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example... It's Nick! What's wrong? You keep staring at me. You didn't tell me you missed me. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now. <coughs> so it's time for us to... Sleep sit. So it's time for us to create new memories together. Alright, sounds good. Well, the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick! Let's go to our usual burger joint! Okay, okay! Actually, it hasn't been that long since you came back into my life. And that story... That story began on one, on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Well, I guess I know what's happening in the next episode. We're going to do the reuniting episode. What's the face for? Porl. Huh? Porl. Uh, anywhere, right, my dear. That's all we've got time for. We've finally done the first case of this game. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I forgot the rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank leave you. Like and subscribe. Ah, yes. And leave a comment in the comment section down below. More Phoenix Wright will be coming. Yes. Diagnosed. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing to our Patreon, becoming one of our lovely beans today. If, however, that is too expensive for you at this time, please consider a one condition on our Kofi. Help for tea wedge today. Woo! But for now, light bulbs. Dragon out.